In this problem, we're going to find the derivative of the hyperbolic secant of 5x squared. So to do this, we're going to use the chain rule. We want to think of this the whole thing as something to a power. So when we take the derivative, g prime of x, what you do is you leave the inside piece untouched, and you just put the 2 in the front. So you get 2 parentheses hyperbolic secant of 5x parentheses, and then you subtract 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1 times the derivative of the inside function. So your inside function here is the hyperbolic secant. So its derivative is negative hyperbolic secant of 5x, hyperbolic tangent of 5x, times the derivative of the inside chain rule again. It's like a double chain rule. Let me go over that one more time. So you have something to a power. So you bring down the 2, leave the inside untouched. Then you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. Now if it was just secant, the derivative of secant is secant tangent. But here's the hyperbolic secant. So it's hyperbolic secant, hyperbolic tangent, plus you have the negative sign whenever you're dealing with the hyperbolics. It's a little bit different than the regular secant. Times, chain rule again, derivative of 5x is 5. The very last thing we can do is maybe multiply everything together. This is all being multiplied. So 5 times 2 is 10. So this is going to be negative 10. I put that negative out front. Then we have hyperbolic secant to 5x times the hyperbolic secant to 5x. That's going to give us the hyperbolic secant squared of 5x. And then we have the hyperbolic tangent of 5x as well. And that should be the final answer to this problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.